Hello, my crafty friends. Welcome to another episode of Angela Shows You. So today I wanted to do, do a really quick video on making straps, handles, whatever you like to call them, depending on what the project is that you're doing, I suppose. But I do all of mine the same way. And I know we've talked a little bit in other tutorials um, about doing them, but I wanted to just take a couple minutes and just show my process actually making them. So what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to make an apron and I, that will be um, another a separate tutorial on the apron. So I am making the ties, the waist ties, and I'm making the um, neck straps. So I like to actually make my aprons with two neck straps that tie together in the back so that people can decide you know how they want it laying on them exactly you know where do they want their bib to start so i actually prefer to just instead of making on my aprons one neck strap that just goes this way you know because some people you know might might not want it necessarily like to start down here um you know, and then just some people, you know, depending on, you know, if a person's, especially, you know, like if they're taller or shorter or bigger. So it's just nice to have the flexibility. So I actually make four straps when I'm making my aprons. I make two for the neck and then two, of course, for the waist. So the ones for the waist, um, I cut them. These are full 36. I know that's really super long, but it's just nice. Some people like to tie it looser. Some people, you know, like to tie them tighter. Some people like to wrap it around their waist and tie it in the front. So I figure two 36 inch straps gives people just a really, you know, some options is wherever people like to tie. But so to make the straps, um, or, you know, tote bag handles or whatever project it is that you're making. So this is a completed one in this one because I'm putting it on the apron and I'm going to have, uh, you know, the one end is going to be exposed. So I've got one end that I um, kind of folded in when I did it and then I sewed it that way and left the raw end and that'll be the end that is on the inside. So what you're going to do is you're simply going to start with a piece of fabric and now depending on your project is going to depend on how wide and how long. If you're making a tote bag, maybe you want, you know, or if you're doing a, some sort of strap, you might want it to be wider. So this is simply going to just be how to make the strap. So what I do, I've got my iron ready here. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your piece of fabric, you're gonna fold it in half. I've got my iron all set. You're just gonna fold it in half, give it a nice press. So now you've got a hot piece of fabric that has a nice crease in it and then you're going to take one side and I you fold it in towards the center but not all the way on that center crease so I get it close Give that a press all the way. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You're going to fold that in again towards the center. All right, and then you're going to take that and you're just going to fold it back in half. And then I just give it another press again 
and I do like to just make sure that hot <laughs> all right so there you go it's quite warm but that gives you nice finished there's no raw edges that show and then you'll just take you'll take it to your machine and you're going to um, I tend to start at one of the ends and so I so I back tack just a little bit and then so I, I actually go this way I go down I go down the open end first so I'll start up here I'll sew all the way down I'll go down this end and then I'll sew all the way back up until I get to the end now for the strap for the apron because I'm going to have one end of that showing what I'll do is I'll just take one end and I'll fold it in just a just a little bit fold it in that way I'll have one end that's nice and clean and then this end will be the end that gets tucked in so then we'll just give that a little press and it's kind of a lot of layers and it doesn't always like to stay so I'll just go ahead and clip it but I'll take this to my machine and I will give this a stitch all the way along all four ends and then I'm going to do the same thing for so I already have one side strap I'm going to do the same thing for the other side strap and the other neck strap and then my next video is going to be a cut well I'll already have the apron cut but we will go ahead and we'll walk through how to assemble a reversible apron so I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you give this a thumbs up and tune in to the next one on making an apron thanks <laughs>